Hi, I'm Chris Anderson. I love Sedona Real Estate, EXP Realty. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can buy land. The number one tip, you gotta find a geographically competent real estate agent that knows land. They're gonna check out the Schedule B on the preliminary tile report for the parcel that you're interested in. They'll know the zoning, which is really important, and the codes, covenants, and restrictions for that parcel. The second most important factor is getting a licensed, bonded, and insured general contractor to help assess the site. You want them to actually go to the site and review these reports that you definitely need to ask the seller for. You need a geotechnical report. That geotechnical report is the soils report. You want that foundation to be solid with impacted soil underneath the foundation so your living room doesn't sink. That costs me about $3,200. Ask the seller to do that in the purchase contract. The second is the soils test or the site investigation report. Now, you don't need this if the sewer is to the property, but for outlying areas, you need a perk test or a site investigation report to see if the property actually perks. This all has to do with conventional septic or alternative system. An alternative system costs $30,000 or more, whereas a general septic, original septic, would cost eight to 10,000. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a flood status report. Now you can get this at the city or the county, but you wanna make sure to give that flood status report to that general contractor because they know the codes and they can look at that flood map and see what the cost it is if there is some flood impact to that parcel. You're also gonna to want utility verification, meaning serve letters from APS or the city for the water and making sure you get it in writing. There's a lot of times that you'll actually look at a parcel and it will say utilities are at the property only to find out that the electricity is across the street where they have to bore underneath the street to bring the utilities to your parcel and that can be expensive. In the end, there's a lot of factors when you're looking at buying a piece of land. It's not as easy as it seems. So take these tips and if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe below and I'd love to do a video for you. So if you have any comments below, you want a video I'd like me to do, I'd love to do it. Until next time, I'm Chris Anderson, EXP Realty. I love Sedona real estate. And remember, if you have any real estate needs in Sedona, give me a call.